Malastari here, and let's get to the point. First step, make sure you have two variations of your title screen. One is the default state, meaning that the player is not hovering any of your options. Second step is the hover state, meaning when your player hovers over something, it's gonna highlight itself, so make sure that's prepared. Second step, go to your tools, resource manager, just make sure to import it to your pictures. I've set mine to title and title two. Next, you're gonna go to the right. Just right click it, make a new chapter, whatever you have, just make sure it's named properly. Right click that and make sure it's set as intro scene. This is gonna allow it to bypass the title menu that the game always has, the beginner's guide or whatever it is, and the language menu. Go to the system, you're gonna hit the cog wheel, go to the first row, Hit UI axis and just drag it here. Make sure it follows the setting I have. Basically, when you're in a title screen, you're not going to be able to call the save menu, the menu, and the backlog. So that's why it is set this way. I have show picture here because it's a placeholder. Meaning if that the player hits something and they go back to the screen, it's not going to be blank. So that's the purpose of my placeholder. Next, you're going to hit on picture. You're going to go to the last row and hit on the show image map. Now basically this is going to allow you several features. Make sure to hit this arrow and you're going to have all of this. This is when the two variations of your title comes into play. You're going to hit the ground, hit the title, basically hit the default state of your title menu. You're going to do the same to your hover except you're going to do the highlighted state. Once that is set into play, then you should be good for that. And this was optional. Basically, just go to your animation and hit blending. This is kind of like a fade in, fade out transition, I believe. Next step. Now, however many items you have in your title screen, that's going to be how many hotspots you have. As you can see, I have five. I have the new game, the load, the CG, and of course, the options and quit. So, I don't know how many you'll have, but keep that number in mind. Go ahead and hit this. And just in case this was set to something else, make sure it's indirect. So hit that. You're gonna come into the screen. So this is the hotspot. You're gonna click it, drag it where you want it to be. The hotspot is kind of like, imagine a point and click adventure game. When you click on it, that is going to activate a function that you want it to do. So here I put it on everything. Make sure that it's not too big. If the hotspot collides with something else, they might unintentionally hit something that they didn't want to hit. Once you're ready, just be aware of something. You're going to right click on your hotspot. You're going to right click, properties. And just be aware of this jump to button. In fact, you should just do it now. For whatever your new game is, make sure it's jump to the start. Go to your load or whatever is next. Make sure it's jump to load. It's jump to maybe a CG if you have it. You can name this whatever you want. Just make sure to remember the names though. Now we're going to be done with the show image map. Look for label and idle. It's going to be in the first icon and your control flow, which is second. Now I have five items here. So I am going to use label and idle about 10 times in total. <laughs> now label, think of that as your starting point. Idle, just think of that as the finish point for that particular action. That's just the easiest way I'm going to put it as. Now, once you clicked and drag label and idle about five times, the items you're going to put between label and idle for each section, that is going to be the action we're going to do for each item. So here I have label. I named it start. That's because in my hotspot, when I right click on that. My start tail is going to be jumping to the actions of start. So whatever I put down on that, that's going to be what it's going to be linked to. 
So make sure to remember your label names and you named it correctly and whatever. So I have the start. That means that when I click on this, this is going to play a sound. It's optional if you want to put a sound, by the way. Now, since my start tail is new game, I have basically reset my variables, my global stuff. I cleared my message. That's because when you're starting a new game, you have to make sure that every data is erased. So I've made sure to reset my variable for global and local. I clear my message. I erase my image map and picture and movie. Basically erase anything that had loaded data onto it or something. <laughs> Make sure to erase the movie, the picture, the image map. Change the background just in case. And then you can put the UI back. So when they're in game, the player can save again. You're going to do switch to layout. You're going to hit the little director thing, the fourth button, and just click and drag it there. Now you see this name here? Start menu layout. Go ahead and type that in. Basically, this is a specific action that was already a default thing in Visual Novel Maker. So that means that when I click on this, it's going to follow through on opening the start menu. After that, make sure you have your UI access. Erase the image map, which is going to be at the pictures icon. You're going to change the scene, which can be found in your fourth button, to whatever prologue or introduction you want to be next. And idle is, of course, your finishing point. After that, it's going to get easier from here. So, you know, that's good. Next label is my load, which is memories. I have the UI axis set to all no's. I played my sound because that's what I wanted. You're going to do the switch to layout again. This time, you're going to put in load menu layout and then idle, which is the finishing point. And everything else is just the same, actually. For my bookmark, which is my CG, I have the sound. I have to switch to layout, but I called it CG Gallery Layout. Make sure to type that in and make sure the other options are the same. The options is the same thing, except it's going to be to Settings Menu Layout. The Quit, the same thing, except it's just going to be Switch Layout. And that's it. Now, just to show you how this works, you're going to hit this. So as you can see, this is my menu with my untitled visual novel. I click on this. This is the whole layout I was talking about. This is going to bring up this. When I go back, this is probably my placeholder. I have no idea, but that's all good. This is the other layouts. And when you do start tail or my new game, all the data from the previous thing is erased. And you have my transition screen, which is my scene. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked it. And I hope that helped. Good luck with your shit. Bye.